Cavemen, after finding out about the infinite food glitch, uh, otherwise known as agriculture. Yeah, once humans started using this cheat, they literally never went back. The gameplay was just never the same again. Roma boos when they get reincarnated into ancient Rome, but instead of being a base legionary eradicating barbarian villages, they are now a farmer being overtaxed by corrupt tax collectors. Ah, uh, the life of a sizable portion of the Roman population. Chances probably are you are more likely to be that than the cool legionary based guy. Wasps elsewhere in the world. Meanwhile, wasps wasps in Australia. No way, is this the one living thing Australia has that isn't super deadly? So native Australian wasps are actually very valuable for their pollination of flowers. The bigger problem are European wasps that are in Australia, which are far more aggressive. Okay, even the Australian wasps look kind of cute. They don't even have threatening names. This is called the Australian paper wasp. Okay, but at the end of the day, they are still wasps, which means they can be dangerous. I think they're just being overshadowed by all the other super deadly wildlife in Australia. An Indian official drops his phone in a reservoir. That same Indian official empties the reservoir to search for the lost mobile phone. Okay, at first I was laughing, now this isn't so funny anymore. That's probably not the most water-friendly course of action. More than 2 million liters of water were pumped out. He even eventually ended up finding it, but it no longer worked. I just... I can't. Do we even want to know what was on that phone? Me when fabric rectangles with cool designs exist. No, no, no. Let her cook. I've been living this way my whole life. Love your room. Are you acoustic? This person needs to get more on the fabric rectangle game, I guess. That'll make his room less acoustic. Inflation is out of control. Last week, my mash castle cost only four and a half pounds to make, and now the ingredients are almost six pounds. I nearly had to leave out the sausage bridge. Someone needs to get this post directly to all world leaders. Maybe this way they'll finally understand how big of a problem inflation really is. If I can't make my mashed castle for four and a half pounds, then I just don't want to live in this world anymore. Should American schools teach Arabic numerals as a part of their curriculum? Let's see those results. 29% say yes, 57% say no, 14% have no opinion. This is out of 2,000 votes. This is the most Twitter poll I think I've ever seen. Should American schools teach Arabic numerals? I vote let's skip teaching Arabic numerals in American schools and instead just jump into ancient Sumerian to be much more useful to the American population. Humans after trees evolve caffeine as a self-defense against predators. Yeah, too bad for you. That actually backfired. We love that stuff. Caffeine does actually help plants survive and at the very same time they also got another dub because we now make a ton of them. These plants are all over the world for everyone to consume. Plants are gonna see this as an absolute win. I like how this is legible even if you don't speak German. German. American man does is uh, ton Reese's Pieces, Buttercups, Caramel sh Schleich Chips, some other food, and Oreo Crunches. Yeah, yeah, I overall just kind of get the gist. The photo really does help a lot for the whole context of it all, though. Guess you could say I'm something of a German speaker myself. If you ever feel worthless, remember that Liechtenstein has political subdivisions. Municipalities of Liechtenstein. Why? Is that really necessary. What's funny is even San Marino has subdivisions. I guess so does the micronation of Monaco as well. I'm now just realizing these subdivisions are more like counties. They're not states. Or maybe they're not even that. Maybe they're just like neighborhoods. Only a 40% tip? It's not my fault your boss doesn't pay you enough, says this normal American interaction. Meanwhile, in Spain. Here's your change for 0.01 euro. Keep it, sweetie. Pretty easy to be a giga chad in Hispania, that's for sure. Can't even tip 40% in the U.S. and be a Giga Chad. Actually, 40%, you probably could. Uh, yeah. You can't tip 20% and be a Giga Chad, though. You, you can go up to, like, 30, 40, I think 40 is the limit. You are officially Giga Chad in the U.S., but anything under that, no. When you realize the Spanish word for evil is the Arabic word for money. As someone who has been using Duolingo religiously to learn Spanish, I'm disappointed to say I don't know the Spanish word for evil. <laughs> I think it starts with an E, right? No, not even close. Why did I think it was something else? Malvado. Malvado. Is this person confused? Mal? Melon. Oh, that does not sound like the Spanish word. Mal. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Arabs win Mali. That actually explains a lot, knowing Mali's history. They were pretty rich. Connections between Arabic and Spanish should not be surprising at all to anyone that remembers the Reconquista. I mean, not only is Spanish and Arabic geographically extremely close to each other, but then there was also the Arab conquests when they had control over Spain for a really long 
time. These two have always been connected. 8% of Spanish as a whole comes from Arabic influences. I knew it was a lot, but that is a large percentage. So learn Spanish so you can then jump to Arabic. Got it. Me flying back from Greece. Here I am handing over my bag to the agent. And here he is discovering an entire gyro skewer. One of the first things they ask is, are you bringing back any food? Me like, yeah, you want some? It's bomb. Wait, maybe you shouldn't say that. POV, you just asked Erdogan if you can have a turn as leader of Turkey. Unfortunately, you think that's gonna happen, but, uh, no. We can play a couple games with that first. Dang, he's already been president since 2014, and now it's going to continue till 2028? It's a long time. Me reading Hilter's Wikipedia page after I went back in the past and ruined his painting to get him rejected from art school so I don't have to study his overrated boring painting in art class. Oh my goodness. What have I done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've made quite the mistake there, time traveler. And this is why we need to ban time travelers forever now. That's why you'll never see one again, like he was the first and only. So-called history nerds when I ask them about anything that's not WW2. This is the exact reaction we should have. WW2 wouldn't even start if it wasn't for that stupid time traveler. Me remembering the Big Bang was 13.6 billion years ago. Man, how the time flies by. I'm getting so old. 13.6 billion years to be exact. The four phases of Mars colonization. Okay, we have what looks to be the first rocket with humans landing on the planet Mars. We have them beginning to build their first base out. Oh, now we practically have a colony with probably thousands of humans living on it. And then, oh, that's, yeah, that's right. Um, okay. Well, let's not act like these companies weren't here before. They were. They were just like inside all these buildings. You know, they had a food court inside of that colony. It just ended up looking like that fourth image as soon as the atmosphere was breathable to humans. Man, oh man, just look at this crazy Star Wars lore that is literally all being held up by a costume designer in the 70s who thought something looked cool. It's made to be even funnier when you learn that the original Star Wars movie was a disaster. That was like the original, we'll just save it in post. They saved that whole first movie in the edit. Girls be like, I know a spot. Then they take you to the zone of death in Yellowstone National Park and, uh, uh, we don't, yeah, she has zero legal consequences for what happens there. Anything is legal in this part of Yellowstone National Park. Only question is, where is she gonna hide my body? Katana wielders, when you tell them that they can just keep their sword drawn at all times instead of drawing and stealthing. Seething? Sething. What is this word again? Sheathing, I think. She, I don't know. With every slash. Wait, but they have to actually pull it out to have a cool anime moment. If I can't do that, then what is even the point? Joe Biden on Hot Ones, but he's just eating 10 normal grapes. He's still crying and sweating though. That's the most important part. Okay, we actually need to see this. Did these grapes by any chance have surgery performed on them? In that case, I'd be crying and sweating as well. I'd be like destroying a piece of history. The deep sea monster about to destroy humanity when it freaking oofs because of a sudden water pressure change. Yeah, that's kind of a part that's like entirely glossed over. I mean, if it's hiding like all the way down here, um, if it gets too high, wouldn't it just like explode? There's the maximum diving depths of sea creatures and other other objects of underwater exploration. There's more than 16,000 PSI at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. I think we still need that part explained for Godzilla. Then again, maybe we don't. US in 1945, do you guys have atom bombs yet? Japan, uh, no. <laughs> Would you like to? Uh, two, to, uh, to be. Exact. Exactly too. I guess we had more though. Wait, so technically for like a split second there, Japan did have an atom bomb. POV, you're watching Oppenheimer, the new film, in America. Versus, uh, yeah. I, this all of a sudden made me realize, are they dropping this movie in Japan? I didn't mean to use that phrasing. Are they releasing this movie in Japan? Oppenheimer is the three hour film dropping this summer about uh, scientists that worked in the Manhattan Project. Japan release date. <laughs> That's like the top thing. I don't even know if it's gonna be released in Japan. It just seems kind of weird. Huh, okay, so this character equals business in English. Meanwhile, this character equals goose in English. Put those two signs together and you get penguin. Uh, business goose. That is definitely one way to describe geese and penguins. Penguins are just more professional. They're always wearing tuxedos. They have always looked just a lot more ready for employment. Sure that helped the penguins of Madagascar. Volkswagen Italy, please never change your Instagram handle. Volkswagen... Uh, I, I, okay. I see. There's some interesting English words 
uh, caught inside of the combination of letters there. I guess that's just how they do it at the VW. Humans in the year 2065 being only able to communicate via a W and L button. We're only gonna have those two letters. That's it. We're not even gonna know how to spell. We're just gonna know yes or no and then watching our programs. Can't wait to be put on that ship. I was born in the 90s. Nah, that's boring. How about I was born in the late 1900s? I mean, we already sound old enough saying we were born in the 90s. Might as well just make it even older. They're not going to know the difference. Weirdly, the further we go into the 21st century, this is going to become more and more of a common thing. Dad at the family barbecue asking everyone how they want their burgers to only end up cooking them all the exact same way. I feel like he always has to say it. Like, how do you want your burgers cooked before he actually starts cooking the burgers? He's not even keeping a log. He's not going to memorize any of that. He's just making sure that you're aware he's going to begin making food. It's always going to come out like this. There's no other option. Me, after learning... Learning Sagandese was an actual language spoken in what is now modern day Indonesia during 800 AD to 150 AD. I'm afraid to look this up. Like, am I being trolled right now? Maybe it's not actually pronounced Sagandese. <laughs> Please. I really hope I'm not being trolled right now. <laughs> Just typing this alone. I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, 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 it's not- I think they got me. Ah, uh, perhaps it wasn't spoken in the modern day nation of Indonesia, but actually the fictional nation of Saganda. And big thanks to my patrons. I am the kidnapper and I have moved Drew to a Patagonian village. Australia is real, Drew I'm not a paid Zardin actor. The grandpa. slow depressing Brunel portal collapse. Asher, to Carl S. Brayden's the Narcan Archaeologist. Jack Shray and the Man Friend. I've almost Friend. managed to escape the imposter that has been suspected. Lutzenberg, Orton, Price 16, Polish, Lothar, Wiggins, Wiggins, Zany Boy, 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 Zany Boy